As a county commissioner in Jackson County, I got very involved with the forest and forest issues because Jackson County is funded through revenues from federal forests, that is from the ONC lands, the old Oregon and California Railroad lands. Uh, the ONC Act actually was written in 1937. And from that time forward, those which used to be private lands were now public lands. They were put into the BLM and were to be managed uh, for the production of timber and for the benefit of the 18 ONC counties. In 1937, when these lands were, uh, when they were writing the act and when they were switching them from private lands to BLM lands, federal lands, we know that there were 40 billion board feet of timber, standing timber, on those lands at that time. Fifty years later, in 1987, they had cut 40 billion board feet. And they cruised it, they found out they still had 50 billion board feet of standing timber. So it was done in a sustainable way, it benefited all the counties, and of course it benefited the rural communities throughout Oregon. So over the years it worked pretty well, and until the early 90s, and when lawsuits happened against uh, any production on those lands, the revenues for the counties fell dramatically, and we're talking millions of dollars of revenue that didn't come to the counties. Of course, when the federal lawsuits started happening, it affected our rural communities tremendously because the mills shut down, the jobs were lost. This was the only income for the family. And after the Northwest Forest Plan was written, uh, a couple, two or three years after it was written, I did a study on the rural communities to, to talk to people to find out what actually had happened in their community. And I found that the, the man of the family who had been logging or working in a mill had to go elsewhere for work, which meant it broke up the families. They became long-haul long truck drivers. They had to go to Alaska to work. Juvenile delinquency rose. Uh, spousal abuse rose in the families, alcohol and drugs. And the families became a lot less functional because of the lack of work and the lack of income. And, uh, and the housing deteriorated dramatically. So we know the effects of a robust industry in our rural communities, and we know what happens when we lose it. It also affects the culture of the rural communities because we're talking about generations of people who love the woods, would not do anything to destroy the woods. They live there because they love it, and they love working in the woods. And so these people have been, many of them, displaced very disenchanted with the federal government and the way that, that the rural communities have been affected.